you know, get a the head throw back. Here at the club, <laughs> it, it, it's your boys. <laughs> we back again. It's that happy hour. It's your boys, Pat R's, Drew Pasley. Coming back for you. Coming, coming for the throat. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Oh, yeah, we are. Because, you know, Drew, uh, you know we, you know when we do happy hours, we we be having them sponsors. You know what I'm saying? Drew already <laughs> repping. You can't even see though. You can't even see. Your boy about to you can't even drop see. it in. Drop it in, in, the, in the boat. Damn. It's that, that Sierra classic. Nevada Brewing Company. That's what's up. Uh, yeah. So we're, right now we're um, we're sporting the the little things drop. Oh yeah, your boy got it on. Your boy got it on. I love this shirt, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Um, so we're, we're 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 supporting the the little things brand of beers, Drew, on this mm-hmm. uh, episode, in uh, Sierra Nevada, and specifically uh, our homies Ashley and uh, who who who's the other homie? Sarah, I believe. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just... Mooney Hand yeah. uh, hooked it up. Yep. And yeah, so we're gonna be talking about the hazy little thing, wild little thing, and big little thing. Drew's got the hazy right now. Ooh, it's nice and crispy too. I can see that part. You can Drew, I don't know if you know. Groupy. Yeah, I don't know if you saw, but they gave us these koozies, right? Oh yeah. This shit's reversible. Uh, oh, dang. Yeah. See, you know, All I right. got that. I got that New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? I got that that purple and and uh, yeah, yellow. You That's what this is too. This I didn't purple. know. Yeah. Yo, oh, it look really because yours looks blue on the screen. I thought it was a different yeah. color. Nice. Yeah, it's purple. And that, that's dope, though. I like this side better. The little hops. I do, too. I'm going to go ahead and pop it on. I'm going to go ahead and okay, pop cool. it on. Oh, shit. So, um, so we're going to talk about all three. Um, I'm going to start out with the big little thing. So, that's yeah. an Imperial IPA. Bru- 9.0. Every, you didn't even have to tell them. You, everybody knew you was going to go for the big one first. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not- starting out. Yeah, starting out with that big boy, 9.0. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, I got the hazy little thing. I'm going uh, then, 6.7 on this. Okay, okay, okay. And then I'm going to go slightly sour ale, the wild little thing afterwards. I'm going to put it in the koozie, keep it cold, you know what I'm saying? Um, this one's a 5.5, so no biggie. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to put it in the koozie, keep it on for later, you know what I'm saying? That's nice. I just did a little yeah. crack on mine. Ooh. Like that. Hold on. Ooh. Mm. Uh, you know what? Oh, it smells like that haze. You know, it's like I smell the the fruits. You know, the fruits. My shit smell hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't envy you right now. This is. Uh, oh, it don't even look that dark. Is it? Oh, no, it's a, it's like it's like a, a, a crisp amber, crisp amber color. But it's like, mm-hmm. oh, you can see my lightning reflect. Ooh. Ooh, that red light. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. What happens when your boy likes it too much? You know what I'm saying? Then you might have to have two this episode, I guess. Damn. Damn. That's a, this so, surprised me. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm not, you know, I don't do hazy. I don't, I mean, I've, I've done it on this You don't on do this IPAs, podcast. really. I don't do IPAs on hazy, but uh, this really surprised me how smooth it is. Wait till you get to this this bad boy. It's like it oh. really uh, the flavors. There's no like real harsh after. I always feel yeah. like IPAs give me that harsh aftertaste, but this I'm rocking. You gotta get, you start fucking with more hazies then, because hazies they don't got that after you know. But oh, this really? boy, this boy that heavy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna mm. expect some alcohol in that mouth? You know what I'm saying? It's got. It's got a good smell to it, but it also, you can tell this shit's a nine. You know what a I'm nine, saying? You know when sure. you can tell some shit's like a nine? Mm-hmm. You know, I said that I was expecting it to be dark, but really, when you think about those those 9.0s, they're usually not that dark. No. Unless you those get in like a stout or something. Yeah. And in which so, case, um, sometimes those, are, those aren't those are as, uh, you know, big of an ABV, which is strange yeah. to me. Um, but I like this. I like this family owned, and operated yeah, yeah. And oh, argued we're about to get over. into that. We're, oh yeah, we about to get into it. So um, you know the Mooney hands. But first, 
<laughs> oh yeah, all the time about everything. So um, uh, they sent us this big old this press release, bro. Mm. I'm gonna get into a little bit of it. So in July and August, they're highlighting a music benefit series that's called Doing Big Things, featuring six bands from across the country. They included the press release that includes all the details about the program. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it um, <clears throat> right now. So here, a little bit about Sierra Nevada. Uh, the, inspired by frequent trips to the Sierra Nevada mountain range, Ken Grossman founded Sierra Nevada in 1980. So this shit, older Ooh. than us, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, actually, happy, you know, anniversary. That's two years, last year, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Big Got boys. that 40. Got that 40, Whew. you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, highly regarded for using only the finest quality ingredients. Sierra Nevada has set the standard for craft breweries worldwide with innovations in the brew house and its sustainability efforts, which is pretty dope. They have a whole thing about it on their website. Go check it out, SierraNevada.com. Um Pioneering spirit that launched Sierra Nevada now spans both coasts with breweries in Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. So North Carolina is where our beers came from, just so you mm. know. And Sierra Nevada is famous for its extensive line of beers, including Pale Ale, Hazy Little Thing, Torpedo, and hosts of seasonal specialty and limited release stuff. Uh, check out SierraNevada.com for more info on that. So by the time we're recording this, this is July uh, 23rd. So, mm-hmm. a couple of things on their Doing Big Things uh, festival has gone by, but I want to talk about a few. Um, and if you want to learn more about this, go to doingbigthings.beer uh, to learn more. But, uh, so, this is in Chico, California, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, now today's second Doing, doing Big Things and Music Benefit Series. It's in partnership with Collide Agency. Series shines light on musicians who are doing big things to make difference in their communities and aligns with Sierra Nevada's longtime passion for music and community. So we both fuck with that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, it's July 23rd. By the time you hear this, it's probably going to be August. So I'm just going to skip down to the August. Uh, they're doing a Matson 2 premiere, Matson 2 live stream performance, Future Birds premiere, F- Future Birds live performance. This is August 2nd, 4th, 9th, 11th, August 16th, 18th, and a To Be Determined, uh, Gully Boys, and Rituals of Mine are all doing performances. So, pretty fucking sick, if That's you sick. ask me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, bro, uh, it's just, if you want to, oh, if you want to buy the stuff that we got on, this these hats, these shirts... They got a they got a website for specifically for that Sierra Nevada gift shop dot com. Uh, you can call their customer service if you want, but you know that you they, you know they got that solid customer service. Shout out Ashley, um, helping us out with this. But anyways, yeah, nineteen eighty, bro, and they do some sustainable shit. Pretty cool. Uh, they got a whole thing a whole thing about so they have a on their website they have this whole thing about how they started their story. And then they have a whole different section about sustainability stuff that they do. So mm. just from this picture I'm looking at, they do solar powered. They do, I, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click it. Whatever. Yeah, oh, they're doing it. Yeah, you're I'm going deep into it, huh? I'm gonna click it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, this everybody's gotta learn about these things. Um, 2016 North Carolina facility was the first production brew in the U.S. to be certified LEED platinum. The highest level awarded by most widely used green building rating systems in the world. Oh, okay. So you know, shout out to that good shit. I love this. This is dope. Mhm. Ah, uh, this can't be, dude. These maps are hella rendered. It's pretty sick. I like it. Anyways, they have a whole thing, um, you know, on here about their beers, their year-round beers, or their pale ales. That's probably the pale ale is probably the one that people know that you that everyone's seen you know yeah. comes in yeah. a green can it's probably the first craft beer most people ever had ever um their torpedo uh is another ipa that people probably had that's the one you that also sells in cases and stuff in the stores but mm-hmm. these little thing series bro mm-hmm. i'm gonna hit you shout out to our boy ricky chowdry uh this this whole thing right here this manifest destiny for the boys you know what i'm saying mm-hmm 
Because uh, I don't know. Really I don't even. I don't think we even we told Ashley uh, when we were hooking this thing up. But uh, mm. the big little thing, we chose to be on a BFF episode about mm-hmm. a few months ago. Yeah. We already featured this shit. And we bought well, it then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> What's even crazier to think about was with the little thing is mm-hmm. that is mm-hmm. a solid topic, rotating topic, every almost every episode, especially in the first two seasons. Little oh, things yeah. was something always so, you know, shouts out to the little things. Shouts out to yeah. this hazy little thing, because it's delicious. Oh yeah, you know yeah. Oh, I know it's delicious. It, bro, they're hazy. They got a good hazy. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like when Sierra Nevada <clears throat> came through with us, it was one of the first, you know, craft breweries that I was like, "Damn, oh shit, we're good." You know, we hooking up with Sierra Nevada. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, I mean, like, people know about Sierra Nevada. Yeah, I mean, like, nor like people that don't be drinking beer is like like we do. No Sierra Nevada. Yeah. Um, also, you know, Drew, you like you like uh, that hazy. You should try their summer break session hazy IPA. It's a four point six. Oh, you know, I like that. Yeah, you know, I, I like a like beach that. beer. I like oh, a beach that's beer. a beach beer too. And bro, I'll tell you what. You know, I saw this in the store not that long ago. Your boy blasted through those. Whew. Blasted. Um, but they also got some cool shit, bro. They they. You know they they have a barley wine, they have a narwhal imperial stout. They got some, they got mm-hmm. some crazy shit. They you know they be doing all sorts of all sorts of beers that you would you would want. You know they got uh, man, they got this nectarine beer, wander wander wanderland, nectarine ale. It's pretty good. I tried that one. They got a celebration man. fresh hop IPA. You know, they got a, tried it. I've tried. Actually, I've tried. I, now that I'm looking at this, I've tried. I think all of their beers. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh. Well, well, they got a Dankful IPA. Oh. They got. Oh, bro. They got this one. Uh. Yeah. No. Is it that one? Yeah. It's that one, bro. It's that one. Fantastic <laughs> Haze Imperial IPA. I'm gonna tell you what right now. This shit a 9.0. This shit goes down way too smooth, okay? Uh-huh. Get you turned on on a quickness. Dang. Mm-hmm. But anyways, let's talk. Since we're on the beers, we'll, we'll talk about. I'll talk about this beer real quick, and then we'll get to our topics for the for the show. You know what I'm saying? Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. uh-huh. <laughs> big gulp ass. Oh, you know it, bro. You can order the shit on Drizzly. Find it nearby. Go ahead, and check oh. it out. Yeah, you know I Drew love, love a Drizzly. I love a Drizzly. I don't know what it is, but it <laughs> it's basically awesome. uh, it's basically uh, what's that other uh, drunk ass app that you can just saucy? order booze to? Yeah, it's basically saucy. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So my joint, the big little IPA, nineteen point oh original gravity, two point six finishing gravity. Got some hops in it. You know what I'm saying? We do they got this whole interactive site? This shit is dope as fuck. Oh, you be playing on it for hours. You love beer, bro. I'm sitting here. This this, this shit's a video game. Damn. Oh, oh. As I scroll oh. down, dude, this is shit happening. I don't even know. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Anyways, so the, yeah, we already talked about 9.0. It's heavy boy. The the one we're gonna that I I think my favorite out of the three of these. I really like this big boy, you know, the 9.0. But uh, the hazy, the one Drew's drinking, that's the business right there. Yeah, it's great. Uh, that, it's a 6.7, 16.3 original gravity, 3.5 finishing gravity. This shit, they got the same shit, bro. It's, it's that, they got this whole animation, bro. It's pouring into his own glass. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Dude, that make you want to drink it all over again, uh, bro. Oh, and they got the they got our shit at the bottom. They got the spank. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can go ahead and buy it. Oh, uh, and they got way. a dog at the bottom. You know, you know, you know, they got a dog at the bottom. You know, you gotta buy it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. So you know, shout out to Sierra Nevada for hooking this one up. Um, <laughs> shout out really to the graphic. Re- shout out to the graphics team for giving uh so Pat this time of his life right now. Yeah, just blowing my <laughs> fucking mind, huh? 
<laughs> shout um, out to, to the web designers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out, shout out. Uh, no, but for real, shout out uh, Sierra Nevada. Hooking this episode up. We really appreciate it. Um, I hope yeah. you dig it. Because <laughs> we're about to get faded. <laughs> All right. All right, Senor Pasley. Oh. Let's get into this shit, bro. Let's get See? fucking serious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, bro. As we're recording this, actually, in eight minutes from this minute, uh, the the opening ceremonies for the Olympic Games start. That's insane to me. Just That's fucking that. nuts, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the Olympic Games... And specifically, you know, this is Quick Sixer. This is your boys, Pat and Drew. So, Mm -hmm. you know, we're going to be talking about that Olympic team. Mm -hmm. That U.S. Olympic team skateboarding. Bruh. Skateboarding Olympic team. I don't know. Drew, you looking at this roster right now? Yeah, I'm looking at Shane O'Neal scared as... (laughs) Fucking looks like a deer Mm -hmm. in headlights. (laughs) All right, bruh. So, I went through this. What we're looking at right now. Is uh, the official Olympic page for all of the Olympic uh, ath or skateboarders, right? The whole mm-hmm. whole list, okay. So yeah. you can find this if you go to you know Olympics dot com slash blah 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 slash blah 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 skateboarding. Uh, <clears throat> so it's everybody and, and like, bro. I don't know about you, but first off, before we take this, before we get into this, I dude, I was looking down this list. I don't know. A good chunk of these people. Yeah. But on the other end of that, I see like superstars repping their yeah. countries, which is like, like for for example, I mean, Felipe Gustavo, who's in almost every contest, and he's yeah. repping Brazil. Kevin Hoffler, which is like, yeah. y- you know, this dude does some crazy ass shit on a rail. Yeah. No, he like, does. He like does. Tony Hawk Pro Skater stuff. Oh yeah, he's he's got that like tail to nose, tail slide to nose slide on a handrail, shit. Yeah, it's fucked. It's, it's fucked. crazy. But then you got like people like like Race Alil, like that. You know, people will know her from that viral meme, or I guess it was a video, viral video of a little girl doing a heel flip and a tutu down a down mm-hmm. a set of stairs. Now mm-hmm. she grown as fuck and she rips, bro. Mm-hmm. Rips. Um, I don't know how they're cutting this up. I don't know. Oh, I guess they are women's street. Women's I mean, she's park. thirteen, so I don't know if she's grown as fuck. But Bro, I don't give a. F- well, she's not grown <laughs> as fuck. But I'm saying, like, when she did that video, she was like six years old. Okay. Yeah. What's like? Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. As as far as like, she's a lot older than you remember her in that video. Right. Uh, and she rips, bro, like crazy. Yeah. Anyway, she she um, won street league. Is that what you said? Didn't she? Yeah, she won. That's yeah. fucked. She thirteen won the street league. Yeah, she was probably twelve when she won it, or bro, maybe yeah, even eleven. Bro. That's crazy. That's crazy as fuck. Also, I want to shout. You know, shout out uh, the one person from Austria. Just like I hope you do good, have fun. There's only one of you. There's only a one of you for a few of these countries, like uh, Chile, Colombia, Finland. It's only, you know, bro, I yeah. know, and Japan is fucking stacked, bro. Yeah, uh, and, well, Brazil is stacked as well. Brazil mm-hmm. is really stacked. Um, you know what's surprising yeah, this about was Japan? The first, the first year skateboarding was introduced and to the Olympics. And yeah. they got, you got pushed back because of the pandemic. But, you know, it was one of those things that, like, I don't know about you, but I was kind of waiting for. I was oh. kind of like I wanted that recognition, of, like as a skateboarder, like yeah, we, you know, this is a legit thing. Yeah. And now it is. I mean, it's it's you know it's one of those things that people push back on and whatever. Um, but like, to be in the Olympics is dope, man. Like, yeah. Like, like some people were about to be talking about like somebody's going home with like a gold medal. And you know, stacking st- stacking that weight for their for their country, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's cool, bro. Like, if mm-hmm. <clears throat> I, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, I, I was a swimmer in high school, so like seeing 
Phelps do his thing, well, you know, those years that he was just breaking every record there was, yeah. was cool as shit for me. But at the same time, I was skateboarder, so I'm like, skateboarding's never going to be in the Olympics, you know? Yeah. Um, and now it is. So watching it, well, going to watch it is like, pre- I think it's pretty rad. Like, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I saw uh, Nyjah's instagram and i saw the course and it's gnarly it's, f- it's fucked up like it's huge <laughs> it's gnarly yeah uh i'm curious to see well i mean they had it looked like it had a little bit of everything but it kind of reminded me of the huntington beach park the vans park yeah 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 the vans outside Cause it park. Had, yeah because it had that like length to it like where you could just keep going on a line straight you know you don't have to hit a mm-hmm a uh, quarter pipe and come back in and do keep doing your line it looked like it yeah. was like you could actually do a legit line like a, le- a legit street line on it yeah it looks pretty sick um i all right so the the point of bringing this up is i don't think we focus on park i mean on yeah on park because that's kind of weird um mm-hmm. let's focus on the street for this particular topic and sure. Me and Drew are going to pick... Dude, how about Rune? Rune Glyphberg in the motherfucking park series, though. That's intense. Shout out shout out Denmark. Shout out 1974. My man. Rune <clears throat> 1974. He's almost at the top, if you're looking at the list. Yeah, I see. There's, also, there's also a dude from... Uh, from south africa that was born in 1975 so i didn't even notice this but i think rune is the oldest dude in this lineup or oldest person yeah. in this lineup not even just dude yeah that's that's insane that's amazing i hope rune wins honestly i hope rune wins park that would be sick yeah anyway it's weird to see so they got zion in park interesting i thought he was Did a zion and ribs he yeah, I thought he was a street skater, but all right. So we 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 got we uh I don't think to be honest like America uh USA is not stacked in park, but uh no, I could that, see I know I know who's going to win park, but I'm we're going to go to street. We're going to Yeah, it. yeah, let's do street. Let's do street and we're me and Drew are going to pick our uh our gold, silver and bronze picks. To win street for for men's street for this mm-hmm. topic we, we we could pick all four topics like men's street men's park women's street women's park for this but we're gonna cut it down for this topic just to do park i mean just to do street fuck there's nine point oh hidden <laughs> oh oh damn oh my god oh my god oh Did damn uh so actually before we start picking i'm just gonna oh, kill damn. it i'm just gonna kill it you know what i'm saying you gonna kill it? All right, I'm gonna kill it, and then we gonna open that sour because the sure. sour is pretty looking. I saw a picture of it online. <laughs> oh gosh, that boy, mm-hmm. he nine point oh now. He no turn up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I this is uh. <laughs> that All right, go, wow, you, thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. Oh shit! Hold on, your boy about to pop on it. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go with. You mind if I start? Yeah, yeah, no. You pick. Uh, how about we pick our? Let's pick our golds first, and then we'll go back, back, back and forth. All right, Nyjah. Nice. Oh, oh, that ruby, ruby red. You know what I'm saying? That ruby red. That oh, that gemstone. You know what I'm saying? Damn, how the color gonna match the outside of the can? Oh, you're drinking a red wine, ain't it? Damn. Oh, that blood, blood. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Uh huh. Yeah, so Nigel Houston will win gold. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> that, ooh. All right, so it says slightly sour ale, guava, hibiscus, and strawberry. Okay. Mm-hmm. On the side of it, you know, I didn't notice that until just now. Five point five, um, wild little easy thing. Easy breezy, beautiful. Easy breezy, but 
Bro, it's weird. So like I'm. Hold on. You take the, take like a, a fruit juice. Well, it's it, it's hitting. You know how. Uh, all right. This is gonna be a weird comparison. You gonna have to you gonna have to get another sip for you explain it. Yeah. Yeah, give me. Oh, hold on one sec. You know how to take them last sips. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. You got to do that. Mm. Oh, damn that gurgle. <laughs> Bro, this is so weird. It's weird, huh? Not All in a right. bad way. Not in a bad way. It's 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 hitting me in different levels. You know, in Willy Wonka's when they're they're oh. having a. Uh, Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> We're gonna go and take it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Well, here's my golden ticket. You know when they're eating the gobstoppers and it's like uh-huh. it's a meal and it hits you in flavors. Yeah. So like, no shit. The strawberries hit me first, then the guava, then the hibiscus, like in a row. Mm. It's so weird. I've never had a beer do that to me. Like where you where you taste mm. individual flavors instead of it just mixed around like a smoothie or whatever. Dang, that's strange, but good. Uh, I got uh, gold. so so Nigel Houston, gold. That's your gold. gold. So yeah. I'm gonna throw a wrench on it. Ooh. So Nigel lost the last street league. So I think. We're going to have a Japanese upset, hometown hero, Yuto Horigami. Mm-hmm. Fucking, fucking the game up, bro. Nolly okay. 270 tail slides, Nolly 270 nose slides. Bro, that shit is insane. That's I, video game shit right there. Yeah, so so I'm going to go with him for silver, and I'm going to tell you why. I got to, I got, so I think he's going to show out for his country, but also I think he also might get nervous. And okay. I think that Nija lives for this shit, like lives to upset mm-hmm. people. He loves to like the hecklers and the people saying, you know, oh, oh, he wins every it. contest. So I feel like he's going to be even gnarlier during the Olympics than he's ever been. And I think I just feel like he's going to be on. So oh. that's why I'm calling Nija. Uh, okay. So he could be like, okay. he could be like, gotcha. Gotcha, you too. <clears throat> it's uh, a... Yeah, no, I think okay, okay. If that's what we're going, our final pick. So yeah, so well, that's final pick. Yeah, that's my. What's your silver? So that's my that's my toss up. So, Nija is definitely in a place. He he's getting the medal at this bitch. There's no, unless this man breaks a leg, knock on wood. Mm-hmm. This man's getting a medal, you know. So I think. In my heart of hearts, mm-hmm. my top one and two is a toss-up between Yuto and Nija, but I think Nija is going to choke. Oh. But I agree with you. He lives to upset people, but I think mm-hmm. he's going to try to outdo himself okay. and not keep it safe. Because I don't, I don't know how they're scoring this thing, so it's kind of weird scoring skateboarding in general, but like... I don't know how they're going to do it. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I think Yuto will get second. That's my silver pick. Wait. Oh, no, no. Nigel's getting second. My, <laughs> that's my silver pick. My bad. <laughs> All right. So. Look at that I, shit. I'm, God damn. I'm going to tell you three people that I think are going to get bronze, and I'm going to narrow it down to the the one that I think. All right. So, I think Shane okay. O'Neal. Ooh. Okay. I think Kevin Hoffler. Okay. And I think um I think uh what's the where's the French dude at? Uh Arulian? No, oh well, no, I was actually no, I'm gonna go with uh Gustavo Ribeiro, the Portu- from Portugal. Ooh. So those are the those are the three that I think have a chance. Also although 'cause I don't I just don't think Vincent Malou he's Vincent Malou is like gnarly. But yeah. I don't think his bag of tricks in are as consistent. Uh, and then the Aurelian, he's good as well. But uh, yeah, he's not in my top three on the on the bronze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna narrow it down to Kevin Hoffa and Shane O'Neill because I've okay. seen them perform. 
And then I think it just sucks because, like, Shane is a a robot, right? But for some reason, for some reason, he'll get hung up on shit in a contest and and then throw it. So I'm going to go with Kevin Hoffler, Ron's. Shane O'Neill for fourth place. Kelvin Hoffler. Kelvin. This man, Kelvin. What am I saying? Am I saying Kevin? Kevin. I think so. Kelvin. Kevin. Kelvin. I'm just. I think I got that southern accent, so you you don't know yeah, no, exactly no, it, what I'm saying. It, it, yeah, Kelvin. It, it, you know, it, it's it, it's okay. But yeah, no Brazil. So you're going Brazil was getting the bronze, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. Hey, let's just lay this out there right now. Top picks yeah. for for Park. Pedro Barros is getting gold, bro. That's what that's what I was gonna say. But you ain't do your bronze. What's your bronze? No, no, no. Uh, so my so my bronze. Man, this, this is a toss up, right? I love how like you said we're only gonna focus on street, and then when I ask you what your bronze is, you start, <laughs> you start looking at well, the park. Well, you know, I I didn't I didn't see Pedro's name in there, so I was like, oh oh shit, I just saw it, and I was like, oh shit, he gonna get it. Anyway, uh, shout out Rune. I hope you get it. Uh. Shout out whoever's doing park. I don't even know what that means. So in, anyway, um, actually, shout out Axel, representing Belgium. Uh, dude is We're super just... cool. I met him a few years ago. This dude's super cool. Hell is short though. Hell is short. You would never even park, know. Park skater short. Everybody know that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, bro, this is a hard one. This is hard. For Just real. say Shane O'Neill. That's who you know it's going to be. No, it's not going to be Shane. I honestly think Shane's going to get bronze. In my heart, I do not think it's Shane. Uh, Straight really? up. Um. So we're talking street. You know, I think. All right. So bronze is the, is the big contender for me in this whole thing. All right. Uto and Niger are battling for silver and gold. That's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. But bronze. That's where the real heat comes in. Because you got motherfuckers from Canada, Matt Berger. This motherfucker is on fire right now, okay? Mm-hmm. You got motherfuckers from... Hmm. Uh, just, we'll, we'll just say all of Brazil. Brazil will just... Uh, Brazil be fucking right now. You know what I'm saying? Brazil brings the heat, bro. I don't know half these dudes from Japan, but I know they bring the heat. And <clears throat> Gustavo Ribeiro from Portugal dude's a beast okay Uh, so man i can tell you who's not i I, I, what how consistent kelvin hoffler's shit is for third place look how consistent i know this dude gonna look at gonna get the bronze if you look at his street league he has third place from huntington beach all the way to tampa florida (laughs) <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, like, no, you're right. He a you're third right, place king, right. you know what I'm saying? He a third place king, for sure. He a th- for sure. <laughs> he got that third on lock. Yeah, he got that third on lock, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. My pick for men's par- men's street. Man, I want to say park so bad. Men's no. street. Silver, bronze medal. Oh, it's your boy on 9.0. Your boy going to give everybody a 9.0 when he... Ooh. Shout, out Sky, shout, out, shout out Sky Brown too I met her a few years ago She's dope um, Bro I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say France You know Shout out France Arulian Bronze Hard foot the whole goddamn course One go Oh, Bro got anti-gravity mode on All day this Motherfucker mm-hmm. flying over shit Go check his Instagram oh. Okay he did get third recently in in uh, Des Moines. In where? Des Moines, <clears throat> Iowa. Mm-hmm. That is street league there. Oh, Twenty one okay. tour. Okay. But, Who you got? Uh, Who you got? Bronze. I already told you, Kevin Hoffler. Oh, was I last? I was asked to go. Ke- Kelvin. Yeah, you were last. Kelvin okay. with an L. Kelvin. Yeah, so Brazil. Um, you know, shout out all you other fools that are uh, show, competing and whatnot. I'm gonna tell you women's. So women's street. Oh, it's it's. I mean, 
<laughs> it's a toss up, bro. Brazil's got it handled. I'm telling you right now. So, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you who I think. All right. So I t- I think Rice. I'm re- legit. I think Rice is gonna get gold. Leticia is gonna get silver. And I think. Uh, wait, where is? I she? think Rosa might. Ma- Pamela Rosa Mariah. might fucking. Oh yeah, Rosa's always up there. I think Mariah though is gonna come through. Oh, that's part. Okay. Yeah, she in street. Bro, I'm telling you, dude, the women's division is a toss up because like some of these, some of these ladies are gnarly. Um, Dang. don't count out, Look. don't count out some of these weird countries though. Like some, you know, like well, not weird countries, but these, these countries that, uh, you know, you don't really think of, like yeah, when you think of skateboarding. I mean, well, let's just talk about something real quick. Mm. Risa, 13 years old, is an Olympic athlete. Bro, you know what? That's not even that surprising. Like, look at the gymnasts. Like, they're always young. Like, you yeah. gotta be in young. You gotta be like a, a beast young. You know what I'm saying? Actually, <laughs> brings us to our next thing. Shout out Simone Biles. About to fuck you guys up. Just fuck the whole oh. shit up. Oh, the fucking the fucking goat come at you right now. D. Yeah, yeah. So, um, back in the day, I had the opportunity to meet most of the last olympic gymnastics team yeah nicest people ever simone about to fuck all y'all up just get it just get out of the way all you bitches competing for silver you're just competing for silver all of you yeah she the goat she doing shit that nobody can do legit like creating tricks and stuff a beast so ready um as this day of recording though prelims for skateboarding start tomorrow so go ahead and check your shit um there's like a couple rounds and by august when this posts you'll probably be watching the final so tell us if uh me and drew are right if we're fucking if we're gonna get close watch both our motherfuckers get knocked out prelims i i you know what's funny is like it's so expected that i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised but nice is not known to choke you know, uh-uh. he he only he only fucks up a, a competition when he gets broke off. Yeah. So if he gets broke off, then obviously he's going to be out. But like he's still in his prime. He's still in his window. Yeah. He's only like 30. No, he's is... like 20. He's like 22. Nyjah? No, nah, no, no. This man born in 94. He's like 28. <laughs> Wait. Twenty six. He's not twenty. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. For real? <laughs> Let me get this math right real quick. Hold on. No, he's twenty six. He's twenty six right now. I was about to say. Boy, he's like six. He young. I think. I think that's right. Born nice in ninety four, November thirtieth. Twenty six, yeah. He got the same birthday as my mom. Um Okay, so he's a little out of his window, but still. A little, compared to some of these other fools, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Like, yeah. I mean, some of these other dudes are like 20 or... He seems like he should be older because he's been rocking contests since 2006. Since he was a child. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so let's flip it on our other topics that we, you know, we, we love to talk about. Drew... Two handheld, two handheld things got announced since the last time we did a happy hour. Oh damn! You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Switch OLED edition, Ooh. and that Steam, fucking, or uh, Valve Steam Deck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let you. Here, here's for the you know the people that never don't know about this shit. Switch OLED edition is legit just a better screen. There's nothing on the back end that's worth a damn. Damn. And they're selling it for fifty more dollars. It's three hundred fifty dollars. Ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Unless you don't have a switch and you're just about to go buy a switch anyway. Yeah, if you wanted to switch, I guess get the newer one. Sure. It's got some more internal storage. Uh, Sixty four gigs. That's like oh, war zone. Great. That's a one war zone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, 
the other thing is the the Valve Steam Deck, which is basically, if you put it in perspective, is basically the Switch Pro. Okay. <laughs> what everybody wants. This shit is. I know Drew didn't look at shit about this, so it's basically. Mm. It is a computer, okay? That yeah. the way they describe, the way Valve describes this thing, is it's a computer that just so happens to have controllers attached to the side. Okay. Okay. You can play your so whole like, Steam library, okay? Yeah. On the go. Ga- okay. Like a gaming tablet. Yes. Like the, actually, Switch, this shit Switch looks Pro. Like a, this shit looks like a new Game Gear. If you ever seen a Sega Game Gear, oh, is shit heavy? I don't think so. Maybe. It lo- is it big? It's like this. You it's know, dope. You know bro. you gotta be like, bro. You should look at it. It's fucking sick. Well, anyway. I kn- I mean, I think the one thing that uh, console versus PC war, you know, has is like. The PCs always have, like, they're better at the first-person shooters. They're always, like, I, I don't know. This makes me think that if PC people want to play their Steam like that, it might give those, like, cross-play, you know, games a chance. Because if it's controllers, if it's like this, mm-hmm. then you have to... Is it motion, too, or just control? It's just control, Bruh, right? It's got... It's got a little bit of everything in it. You gotta look at this damn. shit. I gotta so look it's at got, my next beer. It's oh damn, love that. <laughs> damn, you about to drink on this 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 purple juice in it? Um, I so can't do the purple juice. <laughs> oh shit, you about to go green again? Oh, the purple juice. Yeah, yeah. There oh, this go. is purple juice. Oh no, I was just talking about no, the color. This is sour. It's it's pink. This is sour. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pink juice. My bad. Anyway. <clears throat> no, bro. It looks like it looks like a switch. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it has. It also has these two, like trackpad type deals on it that you can use like as a mouse kind of deal. Oh, it's does crazy it? looking. <laughs> I was. Just, it's, that's funny. I got I gotta get the. Um, I gotta just put it up on a website real quick. What's it called? Steam Valve. Yeah, this Steam. Google Steam Deck. Steam Deck, bro. It's weird as fuck right. looking. Anyway, but the the craziest thing about this thing is you can just pop it into a USB C deck or um, uh, dock mm-hmm. and use it as a regular computer with fucking uh, <clears throat> with fucking mouse and keyboard support. So you know, all you mouse and keyboard first person shooter people can use this shit as a computer. Damn. Yeah. Then you know your boy. You know your boy Wayne pre-ordered it immediately. Damn. He was like, "Bro, we were texting about he it." He's got like, it, He he's is he a gamer? He plays CS:GO and some shit, you know. Mm-hmm. But he was like, "Yo, he 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 got a stack Steam library for sure." Yeah. He was like, he's like, I I pre-ordered that shit already. So, all right. You know, I, I mean, I feel. Like I cheated myself by not getting into the Steam world quicker, because like when it came out, I felt like that had all the answers to all the shit. Like you know, all the games you want to play, all in one location, all the stuff made sense. Mm-hmm. Community, blah 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 blah. But I never did it because I was a Mac person, and like gaming uh, in Mac is not the same. You can't. No, do it's that. not. It's not. So. <clears throat> Um, I want to bring a huge thing to light about this. So I said it's like a computer, right? It is a computer. Mm-hmm. You can bring up a web browser on this thing. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop it right here, bro. Drop it. Xbox Game Pass. Oh hell yeah, that shit, <sighs> Bruh. You can open up your motherfucking Microsoft account page and play motherfucking Xbox Game Pass on the go. 
That's crazy. It's crazy. This fucking thing that Valve is putting out is as powerful as a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. On the go. Crazy as fuck. I should have ordered one. God damn. Now I'm you upset know, with I'm, myself, Drew. Yeah, you should have. I can't believe I should you be, did right? this. I know. Um, can't, I know. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need chastising, bro. I'm gonna need it. What? <laughs> you ain't that bad. It's not a big deal. I nah. feel like all this shit is <clears throat> great, but like, I, honestly, I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm gonna call you out real quick. You're the only person that I know that will go through multiple games on multiple consoles in like a span of. A couple days like you you will like all right i want to play my n64 all right i want to play this on switch all right i want to play xbox one like not a lot of people do that truthfully like not even I gamers know. gamers like streamers will only play one game at a time you know what i'm saying so this is true I, this is true. i feel and i feel like i have almost as many consoles as you i've got a ps4 no. a switch a n64 maybe not as, even close you got Xbox One, you got Dreamcast. Got, uh, you, want, you want me to fucking name them out? That, <laughs> yeah. I, that I have plugged into the TV, I can access right now. Okay. 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 Yeah. We in? We in? Yeah. I have PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Classic, <laughs> Xbox One, Wii U. Switch, Wii, N64. How many HDMI cables you got, bro? Bro, I got two. I got two splitters in this bitch. <laughs> I got one for for fucking composite, and I got one for HDMI. Okay. Yeah. So I can play anything right now. That's nine. That's not even my handhelds. <clears throat> so that's nine consoles hooked Mm -hmm. to the tv i got a vita that i was playing yesterday you were just talking about i i I fucking flip-flop games i heard somebody talk about some vita game and i was like play it i'm gonna play that shit so i got the vita i got the psp i got a ds from you so that's 10 have you played anything on the ds recently i played uh fuck i played something i think i played DS Super Mario 64, like the one where you could play with different people. That's uh, fine. I think I played that soon. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, dude, I you know you're right though. Most people don't switch it up like that, but like the library I have at hand, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna try to, you know, I'm gonna play some shit, you know, like, um, last night I was playing some game. Uh, fuck, I don't even know what this fucking game... These these developers just put out a new game that it's like... I, for, I don't... Fuck, I forget what it's called, but like... This shit is dope as fuck. And I was like... Somebody was talking about their old game that they did. And I was like, I'm gonna play that. Like, I think I have that. And then I looked and I had it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna play this. This shit is hard as fuck. It's like a 2D, 2D Dark Souls... I forget the fuck it was called. But I was like, damn, this shit is kind of dope. Like, I think I'm going to play it. And then uh, I started playing it. And I started getting pissed off that I was dying all the time. And <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> well, I, I mean, the bottom line is... Oh, Death yes. Death's Door is the one I'm thinking about. I think, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, and Titan Souls. That's the game I was playing. That's what it's called, Titan Souls. It's like a 2D Dark Souls game. It's fucking hard as shit. That's I died crazy. so many fucking times before I killed this one one boss, bro. You get it's literally one hit kill everything. Uh-huh. Oh, bro. Uh, I'm just letting you know. I'm going three deep on this show. Oh damn! Damn, I want to join that green that green boy club. You know what I'm saying? The green boy. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this this shower 
Good too. I know this hour Sierra, is good, huh? Sierra Nevada, no day one. You know, Sierra Nevada makes good ass beer. That's that's what this show comes down to. Yeah. Um. You want to move on to the next topic? I do. All right. Shout so... out! Shout out! Shout out that developer though. Whoever makes Titan Souls and Death Store. Uh, yeah. Did you ever watch that Netflix show that about the indie games? I had a what's that? that? Meat Meat World. On it. Uh, Super Meat Boy. Yeah, wasn't that in the indie games documentary? I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, E three is next topic. Oh yeah yeah so. <clears throat> All right, so I just brought this up. Drew didn't watch E3. Heads up. Yeah, I'm gonna click on this and see what what uh, we got coming next year or this year. Okay. So basically, this whole this whole topic was um, the shine a light on what what everyone was looking forward to, or like a a kind of like a. Uh, I don't know highlights of E3. Me and Drew haven't done a, a happy hour show in a while, and e, a whole bunch of shit happened in between that. So um, E3 was one of them, and I wanted to give my highlights, shit that I'm excited for. Okay. Personally, so oh, you know, fucking take this as it is. PlayStation did not have a conference. Sony did not have a conference for this. Mm-hmm. So there's no. Uncharted's that I'm excited about. There's no whatever. The new Horizon looks cool. I guess. Horizon's a cool game. But anyway, bruh, I wanted to talk about Breath of the Wild 2. Mm-hmm. Nintendo coming out coming for your fucking throat with that Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. Okay. You know, this, this, which is following up one of the best games that I've ever played, that Catherine's ever played. It's it was so good that Catherine still hasn't beat Ganon because she doesn't want it to end. She, we haven't even we haven't played it in like a year and a half, but still she won't beat Ganon because she doesn't want the story to end. I'm telling you right now, the story don't end when you beat Ganon. <laughs> it's the so. beginning, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh damn. <laughs> Times a circle, bro. Damn, oh, bro. Circle of life. Damn, you know we we getting into that Disney Plus Loki series right now. Here we go. <laughs> I'm saying. Oh shit. No, I Drew didn't even see watch any of it. That. that shit. That's nah. that might be the best Disney Plus shit that's come out like this year. WandaVision was sick. I I gotta agree, but I, mean. I had to like I had to. I remember when I watched WandaVision because I really wanted to see it. And actually, shout out to uh, David Lingle who's in the show. A friend of mine, um, he gets booked in a lot of shows and stuff because he's got this like, you know that you know that like, I don't know what that is, but the, the dark rim glasses, big nose, and the mustache look, Fuck like show. that mask you put on. You it's like sometimes you'll get like the glasses that have the nose and the mustache. Yeah, he has that look, and it serves him for all of his shit. And he was in that uh, he was in that show, and he was pretty pretty featured. Uh, but we had to, me and Catherine had to watch like all the Marvel like highlights to see to like where we had gotten to with WandaVision or where Marvel Universe had gotten to because we hadn't watched anything. And I'm like showing my cards here. I literally did not watch a single Marvel thing except for Spider Man and Iron Man. That was it. All of them? Like for real? I didn't watch. I didn't watch any. Well, I guess Guardians of the Galaxy. But a ne- none of the like Avengers, sh- you know, none of the Avengers movies, nothing. Really? Like that. Yeah. I thought you were into that stuff. I didn't know. No. Not Damn, really bro. Like, okay. You boy likes okay. To, you know, you boy likes to pass mass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that. Why so serious? <laughs> like an ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Okay. Why okay. So Damn, bro. No, stop, stop that shit, bro. Ugly ass screen grab. <laughs> okay, joking, looking at. Oh hell no! <laughs> you know this no. is gonna be the thumbnail. Oh my god, I hope so. I'm gonna make it one. 
Uh, right. That's going to be on your next unboxing video. That, that screen grab right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, I wanted to shout this out. Acid Nerve, a UK-based studio, is the person who made Titan Souls and Death Door. They're like a very small, very small, I'm talking like two, three people team made this shit. Yeah. Published by Devolver Digital, who makes, you know, publishes all sorts yeah. of good shit. Go check them out. Um, I did not know you were not into uh, Marvel stuff. Nope. Bro, I would have never brought up all these Marvel topics we've talked about. Ever. Uh, I would have never brought them up. I, I, I didn't well, know. I'm going to tell you the truth. All right. So I didn't watch those movies because I didn't like the formula behind how they made them. And I thought that they were taking advantage of like filmmaking as an art. And I know this is like pretentious filmmaking shit, yeah, but yeah. I thought they were taking advantage of that shit and then like exploiting it and getting people to watch it and pushing it down our throats and stuff like that at one point. But now I'm like, fuck it. If it's entertaining, it's entertaining, you know? And, mm-hmm. uh, I know a couple of friends of mine who won't watch Marvel movies because of what I just said, but like, I, um, I mean, I, I like, I like to be entertained. You know, I don't give a shit if it's, you know, if it's good, it's good. Like I'm not, I'm not, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it comes down to for me, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm in that boat too. I love a, I love a good artistic fucking, you know, motherfuckers say cinema or film, you know? Yeah. You know, you pretentious as fuck. You saying that just first of all, (laughs) but, um, (laughs) uh, also you probably some bullshit never worked on a set. So, Mm -hmm. sorry. Um, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> I like that shit too, right? But at the same time, I like to just fucking zone out and have a have some yep. weird ass fucking yeah. What's what's let these motherfuckers blow up a building, drop yeah. some shit on you know some some out of this fucking world. Let's flip a comic and just point our finger at a, a slide and say we're gonna make this scene right here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I that's like the same. That. That's the same way I, I feel about music. Sometimes that's like I I like listening to popular rap music because I don't have to think. You know, I just like it does something to me. I'm just like, all right, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, Bob the Head, all that shit. But no, I, uh, I yeah, I mean, entertainment. There's like there's art and there's entertainment. I mean, if you're in that in that, you know, you want to think about something, you want to think about a you know your life or whatever you want to watch an artistic movie that's one night you know next mm-hmm. night you might have had a hard day as a work and you want to see chris hey. pratt blow up some shit you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but if you want to see chris evans go ahead you know top you know <laughs> get somebody over the head with something. something you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I um, feel it. no i agree I, I completely agree there is like when you when you're not a, a teenager anymore and you're like you know, you got to do shit for yourself. That is completely the vibe, bro. But you might have had a big day and you're like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just, I don't want to actually think about what's going on on this screen. Um, yeah. That's completely cool. That's all right. You know, you don't got to. That's why these Marvel movies exist. That's why Disney yeah. Plus exists, honestly. Like, yeah. straight up. And you know how many kids, I'm sure it's mostly parents just like turning on <clears throat> fucking disney plus for the kids to like zone out on all day but it's yeah. also for kids that are just like that have grown up and be like oh, i've seen this movie a billion times when i was a kid i'll just turn it on to zone out and relax yeah. you know you know you know who's gonna make a lot of money i tell you who's gonna make a lot of money well disney of course but no uh whoever figures out how to collect all the fucking streaming services and put them in one package and put a discount on it. And now you can watch whatever you want and all the titles are there in the same place so you don't have to fucking go back and forth. Dude, that motherfucker's going to make trillions. Dude, you're tripping. Ain't nobody going to do that. I, well, somebody should. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker too space. busy going to space, you know. <laughs> Boy, boy had the best three minutes of his life in space. He, the boy went, woo, and it came right back down. 
<laughs> oh, bald ass bitch. <laughs> bald ass three minutes in space. Damn. Space cowboy looking ass. You're the slickest three minutes I've ever seen in space. Slick head <laughs> ass motherfucker. <laughs> Boy went, woo! This man, gravity's chopped his fucking head clean, huh? Damn. Uh, <clears throat> nah. Dude, fuck that man's putting a watch over his fucking space suit, bitch ass boy. Hell no. <laughs> boy walked out with a cowboy hat. Damn, real, what kind of fucking nerd are you going to space go, wearing a cowboy hat? Come on. Hey, no, his post interview, I, I will say this. I've never been to space, obviously. I have had adrenaline in some in some cases. This boy's adrenaline was so high, he did his, his first interview back to Earth. And they said something like, talk about him going again or doing something. He's like, yeah! Oh, I know. I <laughs> he was like, ah! This man he was like full on. Fucking, he this looks like he was on cocaine on or something. He was like adrenaline ejected, you know what I'm saying? Or like meth or whatever. Oh, yeah, he was full on cracked out. Like, he on that good ice, you know what I'm saying? You just mm-hmm. straight straight to the bloodstream type shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> him and his brother bald. Oh, my God, bald as fuck. Bro, you don't need to procreate. You bald as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Bro, ain't no hair in your family. Bald ass boy. Or slick seal boy ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why my shipment late looking ass? Damn, Art- Arctic astronaut looking ass boy. <laughs> Man, I hope somewhere, somehow, this motherfucker tracking everything that is ever said about him and he gets right. to see this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll check the shit out of you for hours. Let's go. Give anyway. me a million. <clears throat> Give me a million. I check the shit out of you on live stream. Let's go. <laughs> if I can't... If, actually, here's the challenge, Jeff Bezos. If I oh. can't check the shit out of you for an hour straight, then I owe you a million dollars. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> but... <laughs> World star... <laughs> <laughs> but if I can, then I get how much is how much is worthy for that? I think a million dollars per minute, so sixty million dollars. That's what yeah. I'm you should tr- get sixty million minute. Yeah, that's for a sure. lot of checks, bro. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. That's sixty of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, that's a lot. I'm more than sixty of them. Probably six hundred <laughs> checks for that bitch ass boy. Um. Yeah. Well, I, I imagine you go be ranting. You you'll rent one minute long. Oh, you think mm-hmm. you gonna go? You gonna rapid fire? You think yeah, you gonna rapid time. fire? Or you go <laughs> hour, hour long. <laughs> you gonna have pages and pages of his childhood. Talk about <laughs> how he was bald and bald at birth. You know, <laughs> 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 he never grew the hair. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, this man didn't grow hair too. He was 17 years old. <laughs> and he lost that shit at 19, bitch ass boy. <laughs> Got hair for one year, bitch ass. <laughs> Can't have hair and Two be years. smart. Nah. He ain't even smart. This man's selling books oh, out of the garage. Got lucky. Damn. Lucky ass. Yeah. No, that's my that's my challenge. I really fucking hope this shit don't go viral. <sighs> oh god. Damn. Actually, come on. That will actually that will fuel our whole lives. Let's go. Let's go, Jeff Bezos. Let's go. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Sierra Nevada just pulled a sponsorship. <laughs> Threw the hat in. They done. Let me go. Ahead, let me go ahead and turn this backwards so I don't have to blur it nah, out. Nah, bro. They sustainable. Amazon ain't. Let's do it. Uh, they no, sustainable. They probably, love this. they probably do. They might. Fuck it. Who knows, bro? They, the, you know, they probably they, somebody who's sustainable probably runs the same, same circles as some of these motherfuckers. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna give a quick shout out before we sign off of this shit. Shout out Oscar right. Rosenberg. He gonna win men's part, maybe. You know, I've already said like four people is gonna win men's part. And he all. said Pedro is gonna. <laughs> but I didn't even realize Oscar's in there. Uh, shout out Sweden for that one. Oh my god, Drew. This is a fun happy hour. Shout out Bezos. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Bezos. Shout out Sierra Nevada. Shout out Mooney Hands. Um, mm-hmm. All you Mooney Hands helping out. You know what I'm saying? Helping your boys shout- like us. 
Shout out to Amazon workers. I hope y'all get unionized. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all get to union. Bro, I hope you guys get paid a fucking decent wage. At this they rate, don't. McDonald's going to pay more than you. They don't. They can't sit down at work. So That's we got boy, boycott Amazon. Yeah, well, you know, um, I just got Amazon delivery during this show, so. I got one coming in a day or two, so. I don't know. Bro, this Apple Watch, it's, it, Wayne bought us a fucking uh, camera for the doorbell. Oh, the rings? Uh, Oh, it's not a ring, but it's it's what it's. It? I forget what it's called, but uh, it's not one that like shoots the rings fucking cloud or whatever. It goes straight mm-hmm. to just just iCloud, like that's mm. it. And um, it gets it's super locked down or whatever. You know what Wayne be? You know, he oh, be he lock- he be locked the fuck down. You know, he all about privacy. But anyways, anytime some shit comes to my doorbell, I gotta get a little notification on the old watch. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it will show me on the watch who's at the fucking door. So, um, yeah, about 10 minutes into this show, we we definitely got an Amazon package. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to the delivery, man. Y'all working good. Y'all working hard. You working hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope you get that wage up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like Drew said, shout out to the Mooney Hands. Shout out to Sierra Nevada. You guys have been crushing it since 80. Mm-hmm. That's no small feat, bro. That is not... I don't know. Uh, bring it, bringing craft beers to the fucking masses, you know. That's I guarantee up. one of the first craft beers I ever had was probably Sierra Nevada. Mm-hmm. Probably. It's, a, it's, de- it's definitely a go-to if it's in the cooler, you know what I'm saying? If you see that shit in the cooler at a party, you're hitting up a Sierra Nevada for sure. That's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm digging through them fucking blue Bud Lights. Digging like this, bro. Ooh. Oh, oh shit! What's, what's that, that green? What's that green what's that, thing? What's that green? What's that? What's that? What's that green? What's that green? Thing? I want that green juice. Yo, you come up in that lately? What's damn! Look how fucking thing? strong I look. Look at this fucking damn. Oh, damn! They're buff. big. They're buff boy. Yeah, it's shout out picking Iris up on them the beers. Background. You know, shout out Iris in the background. Shout out Jimmy. Iris. Iris straight up slept for an hour. The whole show. Back behind me. The whole show. Yeah. Shout yeah, out to uh, Drew's new room. He he making it right. I'm loving that 64 collection in the corner. I see that. Love that. What's that first game that's in the front? Uh, I think you see Roadster. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you see Roadster. That's one Zelda's I don't have. in front of it. Ocarina? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, speaking of... All right, to close out this show, um, as if you follow our content, which I hope you do at this point, uh, early July, or I guess it was late June, I gave a July update video and slash podcast about what we're doing. So me and Drew are going to continue doing happy hours, you know, the sponsor content type shit. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, repping them, repping them boys, repping them boys. You know what I'm saying? Repping yeah, we got to rep boys. Repping, repping them boys. Um, <clears throat> and we got a bunch of new shit. So, me and your boy Adam Knitch, we're doing a we're doing a show called Dropping the Needle. It's all based on albums, and well, it's based on a specific album per month. We pick an album per month, and we also talk about music. Um, at the masses and pop culture and things that are happening, you know, stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. The one in August that you're going to be hearing after this show is outcast Stankonia hard as fuck. We're going to be talking about how that basically Mm. affected it, affected the world. It changed the world that album. Mm -hmm. So, um, stay tuned for that. We also, uh, we've recruited some new homies, you know, not just Adam, but our girl, Brittany Fernandez, Brittany Fernandez doing Brittany's brew review. She's reviewing beers for us each month. This past month was, uh, shit. What was that shit? Fuck. Oh, sweet, wa- sweet, uh, sweet water brewings, blue beer. Um, I think we great we gave it. So we're Drew. Just so you know, 
we're giving uh, these beers a on air untapped rating. Okay. So we I think we gave this shit a three point five. Go ahead what? and check that. Out of five. Oh. In increments of two point five. Or point two five. So you can go up to five point oh, but it's like you can get you know, you can get a two, a two point two five, a two five, two seven five. We gave it a three five. All um, right. <clears throat> yeah, I think the average on untapped is like a three point six or something. Go and check that out. I forget what the beer she's doing uh, right now, but she's she's on a show in Atlanta, so it's probably gonna be another Atlanta beer, um, maybe. Uh, shit. By the time you see this, you are. I know it's pretty sick. Pretty sick, right? We got we got mm-hmm. a few people in the Quick Sixer Collective stacking clips for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's exciting. Drew's birthday just happened. Happy birthday, Drew! Shouts out to your boy, old as fuck. Yeah, old as hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to your boy. He got a present coming in the mail that I'm very, very excited for him to open. Very excited. It's probably the coolest present I ever given Drew. Oh damn! I'm not gonna Yo, hype that it. hype train. That hype train. I know the hype train is is real, but. This was months in the making, so I'm going to hype uh, it. Oh, geez, geez. Oh. Yeah, no, legit, it was. Um, oh, damn, that boy loved me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, Drew, you got anything to promote? What are you working on? Uh, if you're watching TV, uh, look out for your boy on a Yelp commercial. Uh, it's Aaron right now. Uh, you see my goofy ass somewhere. I was expecting a link at some point because I know it's. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh damn, that's sour. Yeah. Uh, I expected to see some links on Facebook. A lot of times when I do a commercial or something, people reach out. Uh, yeah. So if you're looking at TV, let your boy know you saw me. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. No, that's it. All right. All right. Well, you know, uh, stay tuned. Your boy stay on this Quick Sixer content. Go ahead and check out the YouTube page. Get subscribed there. Uh, we also have a Patreon if you want to click on that. All of this stuff is linked in the YouTube page, top right corner. If you want to check that stuff out, go and subscribe on that to Instagram for our clips. You know, the unboxing videos live. Um, yeah, stay tuned for show we're doing. Um, it's all fun, you know. And actually, you know, shout out to you, boy Chase. Chase Porter for uh, coming on that BFF's last episode. That was a lot of fun. We drank a shit ton of high life. It was it was a lot of fun. So, <clears throat> you know, it's been your boys. Shout out Sierra Nevada. We really appreciate this episode. Shout out to this IPA. I am tripping that you guys got Drew to drink a fucking hazy IPA that you actually liked. That hazy, you know what I'm saying? The hazy boy. The hazy boy. Uh, this shirt's actually sick as fuck. I actually really... This is one of my favorite brewery shirts that anybody's ever sent us. So... Yeah, thanks. Shout out to Very that. Nice. Uh, shout out to, you know, Chico in North Carolina. Isn't this North Carolina, they said? The breweries. Uh, go visit them North if Carolina you get a chance. Box, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead and check them out. Check out the homies. Um, but this has been your boys. This is Happy Hour. This is Quick Sixer Podcast. Boys, Drew Pasley, Pat Artist. We out.